If you are looking for the most tasty fish pie recipe, you have come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful little smoky fish pie. Very, very tasty. And of course, it's inspired by my hometown of Hoth. So what I'm going to do is start off by making a white sauce. And the white sauce forms the basis of the beautiful sauce that moulds together this lovely fish pie. First thing to go in, some butter. That's melted down now, so straight in to make our lovely roux, I've got some flour. So get that in there and give it a good whisk. Check that out, a really smooth little paste. And you can add any liquid to this and it'll thicken it up nice and beautiful. I'm gonna add some milk to get a really creamy finish on it. But you wanna keep whisking it and cook it out just until you get that smell of kind of baked pastry and it means that you won't get that bitter taste of flour in there. So at this point now, I'm gonna grab some milk and I'm gonna pour this all the way in. And you wanna mix it through, whisking, 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 until you get a nice smooth mixture. Probably should have mentioned that that milk is preheated, it means that you won't get too many lumps in there. And this will start to thicken up very quickly. As you can see, as I whisk it, it's already started to thicken up straight away. So it does happen very, very quickly. Right, off with the heat. At this point, if you wanted to add a little bit of cheese in there, it's a lovely little touch, but I'm just gonna season this up with some Dijon mustard. Teaspoon goes in here, ooh, nice little bit of heat. And then just season it with some salt and pepper. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful white sauce which is gonna bring together our fantastic fish pie. So I'm gonna set it aside just for one minute while we talk about the rest of the ingredients. I've got some veggies in here. I'm gonna use some celery, some carrots. We've got a nice kind of sweet bitterness, something going on there between the two of these. And then for a little bit of a hum of flavor, we've got some garlic going in there as well. Check it out, very nice, pretty. So we're gonna take these aside and we're just gonna give them a nice fine chop. A nice fine chop on the garlic. And now all our veggies go into the pan. Little drop of sunflower oil, or whatever oil you want to use. Get all the veggies straight in there, and we're just gonna soften them down. So mix them through, and actually at this point, you can also give it a little season of salt and pepper. Check out the veggies, nice and softened down. So at this point, bring across that white sauce. Veggies go straight into the white sauce, and now we gotta talk about our fish. Because this is a fish pie, we do have to talk about fish. And the fish that I want to talk to you about is some haddock and some cod, but you can use whatever fish you want. You can use scallops, mussels, you can use a whole host of things. Prawns are lovely in there as well. But I'm using a combination of smoked fish and normal fresh fish. And the smoked fish is absolutely gorgeous in here. So do try and get some smoked fish, it's so tasty. Right, this goes straight in to our pan of our lovely sauce. Chai for that lovely kind of oniony flavor. Just mix them through and you'll just get those lovely little flecks of herb throughout and it's gonna be gorgeous. Tumble it all out into the pan. Look at that, a beautiful fish pie mixture. But it's not finished yet. We've got some potatoes over here. And I've boiled these just until they're nice and tender. You can see they're still steaming in their own heat and I've put them back in their pot. And in on top of that heat, what I'm gonna add is a little bit of milk and some butter to mash them with and that butter is gonna make these beautifully creamy. So I need to mash this down now and get a really nice, where's my masher? Oh, it's over here. So mash this down until you get a really nice smooth potato mash. Nice smooth potato mixture. Get rid of the masher. And now we need to talk spring onions. I'm gonna just slice up one or two of these just so that we get nice little slivers of spring onion throughout. Get that straight in there. Nice little slivers of that. Season it up. It's really important to season up your potato mash because it can be a little bit boring in flavor, a little bit bland. So make sure you get a nice bit of salt in there and of course, some pepper. Now, traditionalists would of course use white pepper, but I'm using the black pepper because I have it and it's easy to hand. Give it a final mix through. You've got some of those lovely spring onions. We've got the sea salt, black pepper and just give that a full mix through. And now, dollop this out in little kind of, little kind of smooth dollops. Check this out, beautiful fish pie topping, fantastic fairy tale peaks. I like my fairy tale peaks on my fish pie, but I'm gonna finish it off with some lovely crumble cheese and herb breadcrumb mixture. So I'm gonna finish this off, just sprinkle these over the top. Right, that is it. 200 degrees Celsius in the oven for about 35 minutes until it's nice and golden on top. This is gonna be tasty, stick around.
I cannot tell you how good the smell is in the kitchen right now. Beautiful fish pie, puffed up golden potato with a crunchy cheesy topping. And come right over here, because this is where the magic happens. Have a look at it. Really soft, really delicious, and look at that ooze. And besides, I'll have to clean that up after, that's fine. Oozy fish pie, really creamy, and those lovely chunks of white and smoky fish. Hey, that is what it's all about. Proper comfort food. This is a super little recipe that I want you to try. I want you to give it a go. Make sure to subscribe to the FoodTube family over here. Check out my recipes over on my website. The recipe for this is on my website. And of course, like, share, comment, do all those things. I'm gonna dig in. Oh, this is a total treat. Oh, I'll get some of that. Oh. <laughs> Top tip! <laughs> Wait till it goes down. <laughs> but, okay, now I've just burnt my tongue completely off my, my mouth. But that is fine. What I can tell you is, wait till it cools down, try it. It's very tasty. There's the doorbell. I best be off. See you later. <laughs>